Hi, and welcome to this plant factory tutorial. Sometimes you might need more control over how the plant mesh is split during export. You might want to export a specific node as a separate mesh while keeping the rest of the model as one object, or you would like to group plant parts together in preparation for using Pivot Painter 2 for Unreal Engine. Thanks to a new hierarchy edition system, this is now easy to do. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up a custom plant hierarchy for your plant. To see the current plant hierarchy, switch to the hierarchy display mode in the display mode menu. In this preview mode, a different color gets assigned to each hierarchy level of the plant. The plant information shows the total number of hierarchy levels in the current model, for example 7 in this scene. Parts of the same color will be grouped together into one mesh during export or into one level for Pivot Painter. Hierarchy levels control two things. When exporting a static mesh, the levels define into how many objects the plant mesh is split during export, and when working with Pivot Painter 2, they control which parts of the plant move together with the same wind level. Pivot Painter supports up to four independent levels of wind animation, so anything from hierarchy level 4 and up would be animated with wind level 4 in Unreal. To edit the hierarchy, we can select the plant part we want to edit in the viewport, which will automatically select the corresponding node in the graph. And then we can edit the hierarchy settings on the node's transformation tab. By default, each node is set to increase the hierarchy depth level by 1, relative to the parent that it is growing from. An increment of 1 means that this plan part will be placed in the next hierarchy level, which is also the maximum value allowed to be used at once. If you want to group the next plan part with the previous one, set the depth increase to 0, for example here in this branch node. Now that I removed the depth increase, the branches share the same color as the trunk, and branches and trunk would be grouped into one mesh during export, or share the same wind animation in Pivot Painter. Contrary, with a value of 1, the branches would be treated as a separate object on a new hierarchy level. It's important to understand that the hierarchy level is always computed for each single primitive, and it is not the same for all primitives generated by a single node. For example, let's look at the leaves. Some of them are blue, while others are orange, even though they are created by the same node in the graph. This happens because for some leaves, there is one more twig level occurring before the leaf grows, according to the plant structure in the graph. If you count down from the leaf node, there is one path that you can take through the graph where the leaf node has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parent nodes before it, placing the leaves thus at level 7. And there's another path where it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parent nodes before it, thus placing the leaf at level 6 in this case. If you want to place the leaves at the same hierarchy level, independent from where they are growing from, you can use the min depth parameter. We now know that the highest level that some of the leaves are growing from is level 7, as indicated by the total number of levels in the plant information. So with min depth set to 7, we can force all leaves to be considered to be at least on level 7, even if they normally grew at different levels. So by combining these two parameters, you can create completely arbitrary grouping hierarchies. Let's now try and group the mesh into four levels of hierarchy instead of seven. The first level should be the trunk, then all branches should be at the same level, then all twigs, and then all leaves. The branches down here have a depth increase of one and are one level higher than the trunk. The same is true for the other branches growing up here, so these two nodes are okay. The branches then split at their tips, and here we want to keep them at the same hierarchy level as the other branches. So we just need to set the depth increase to zero for all three branch nodes. And let's do the same for the next level of branches. Now we're just left with the twigs, which we want to place one level higher than the branches. The first twig level with a depth increase of 1 is OK, but with the second twig node we are back to the problem that we mentioned before. Some of the twigs grow from the previous twig level and some from the last branches level, which puts them at two different hierarchies. We can solve this and put them in the same hierarchy as the previous twig node by first removing the depth increase, 
which will already group the twigs growing from other twigs in the same hierarchy, which is level three. And then also setting the min depth to level three, which will force the twigs growing from the branches to be also put on level three. And this also solved the issue with the leaf depth automatically, because the leaves are now all growing from the same parent level, which is the twigs level. And if we look at the plant information, we reduce the seven levels of hierarchy down to just four. This would be a perfect hierarchy for Pivot Painter Wind, as Pivot Painter's Wind Level 1 would animate the trunk, Level 2 the branches, Level 3 the twigs, and Level 4 the leaves. Of course, the standard hierarchy with seven levels would also have worked just fine, in which case anything above Level 4 would also have been animated together with Level 4 Wind. But with a little bit of tweaking, you have full control over which parts will be animated together by which Pivot Painter Wind level. You can also select any individual primitive with the gizmo tool and then using the make unique option by right clicking the hierarchy parameters you can override the hierarchy level for just this single primitive object just remember that this will also have an influence on the next primitive levels growing from that single primitive that you just overwrote and because the hierarchy level is computed for each single primitive and the level is always relative to its parent this system works for any kind of plant graph, even with loops. Here's an example of a tree which is created by just a single loop node. We can use smaller values than one, and they are summed up with each repetition. And each time a full value is exceeded, a new hierarchy level is then created. So Plant Factory always rounds the sum up to the next full level. And let's look at this. So this tree has five repetitions. And if we set the value to, for example, 0.3, the first level, the second level, and the third level will be grouped as one level, because the first level will have a value of 0.3, the second a value in sum of 0.6, and the third one in sum a value of 0.9. And all of this will then be rounded up to level 1. And the fourth level will then have a value of 1.2 and the fifth level of 1.5, and both of these levels will be rounded up to level 2. The plant hierarchy can also be stored as a vertex color set in the post-processing tab, in which case all hierarchy levels will produce a gradient from black to white across the plant. To export the plant with this hierarchy, you can go to the export mesh settings and choose split mesh using hierarchical levels. You can also include the vertex color hierarchy gradient. If you want to use this hierarchy information for Pivot Painter support in the Plant Factory Unreal plugin, then export the plant as a TPF species. The hierarchy will be saved inside the procedural plant file and it will be retrieved by the plugin when it computes Pivot Painter Wind data. Thanks for watching and happy modeling! Mm -hmm.